Well, Philippe, thank you for joining us. Um, what's your, your immediate reaction to, to your team's performance tonight and the victory? Um, that I've seen a lot of things that I wanted to see. Uh, with, with the ball and without the ball, um, the team is growing week by week. Uh, I want to, that this team can play this kind of football 90 minutes. We're not there yet and you mm -hmm. see that in the second half we drop a little bit in our intensity, in our tempo with the ball and also in our aggressivity. So the other team, which we knew that they have a lot of good football qualities, they came more back in the game because of that. And for the ideal scenario for me, the perfect game would have been that we scored earlier the third goal and killed the belief of the opponent. But in the end, I think we need to be very happy with, uh, with the three points because it's, uh, it's a very important uh, victory in this group. Phil, can I say, um, I thought the first half, uh, Rangers were excellent. Best 45 minutes I've seen in a long time. But it's interesting to hear what you said there because I thought some of the football Rangers played was very, very good. But equally, I, I was very, very impressed when you didn't have the ball. No, it's, it's a very important part in football and uh, you don't have the ball all the time. We want to be the dominant team, we want to have the ball as, as much as possible. But in, uh, in the football I want to play, everybody needs to work hard. Also the strikers, it's not uh, that our strikers only are there to score goals. It's also even maybe strange, <laughs> you don't like this th to hear these things maybe, but uh, I don't care who's scoring. If it's the midfielders and defenders, but the striker did a good job. Without the ball also, or with the ball giving assist, it's also good for yeah. me. I, I thought uh, even the first half, you must have been, how you envisaged the first half to be, it must have been as, as close to that as possible, in and out of possession, because I think in possession, the interaction with your front four were really fluid and caused problems, but setting little traps, your press out of possession. I think Gomez, right-footed, left-sided centre-half, you know, you picked on him a wee bit and he had a, a tough night, yeah. but you were good enough to capitalise on that, I felt. Yeah, of course, and, and that's why every game is different. Um, every game you need to look for the details, uh, to take it to your advantage, uh, how to press, with who to press, what are the weak links, and, and, and on the ball also to, to find the spaces where, where we can f find spaces. We had difficulty with that first half in, in Prague. We, we did much better second half and today also. Um, and it's, it's a lot of work for, from a lot of people, I need to say that also. Um, it's work of the analysts, it's work of my staff, it's, it's work of everybody together to make a good analyse about opponent, where, where are our opportunities. Yeah. If I may say, looking at the team just now, there's, a, there's certainly, um, since you came in, an in, incredible improvement in, 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 in the, the, the physical aspect of the game in terms of the movement. I know you want your team to work very, very hard, they seemingly they're doing that, but also what that brings, I'm looking at people like Seema, the confidence that he has now that he didn't have five, six weeks ago. You brought the young lad McCausland on, who I thought had an excellent um, period when he came on. So I can see the confidence throughout the team. And obviously that comes with playing well and working hard. Yeah, that's it. And uh, we talked about that, about the basics, also about uh, getting the synergy back with the fans, because it, it was gone uh, a few weeks ago. But it's all about, about hard work. And the most important is to do the things together, uh, to move together. And that's about work on the training ground. That's work with a lot of videos also to show what we have to do uh, every time to, to implement uh, the principles that we want to get in the team. And I'm really happy um, about all the teams stepping into that story. You, every meeting I see people with a lot of attention and also the, the senior guys, the, the leaders in the group who are really pushing the story in the dressing room, so we're in a good way. It's, uh, it's now about getting stronger physically. It's now also about uh, confirmation that uh, we don't become sloppy because we get too much uh, confidence or we feel too good or we get satisfaction. Uh, that I don't want to see. So I'm going to be on top of that. <laughs> I, know you, I know you won't want to pick individuals out. I'm sure if I jump in here. However, another good couple of great saves from the goalkeeper. We've, at this club, we've had a long string of fantastic goalkeepers, I've yeah, got to say to Philip, and he looks another one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, not only by the saves, also personality in the dressing room, uh, before games, after games. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a really important asset. Uh, but I see more and more leadership uh, in the group, and we have uh, several now, and that's uh, what I like to have, that I have uh, a few right arms uh, in the dressing room. 
who can help uh, to make this story a, a really good story and and to give this club what it deserves. So uh, to be competing in all competition and to win trophies, that's that's the goal of everybody. How much potential do you see in this squad, Philippe? You know, you've had a, a good opportunity now to see them closely over a number of weeks. How good do you think they can be? Uh, I never believe in that because I, I always believe that, that you can grow, that you can become better. So it's, it's difficult to say that's their uh, highest point that they can reach. No, I want players who are brave. I want players who believe in themselves. I want players who um, want to win everything. And also if we play against uh, Real Madrid, what we did before with Bruce, we played also with with high pressing and, and believing in ourselves and getting results out of that. It's, it's really important that players sometimes uh, don't think too much what is my highest level. No, you need to dream, you need to push every day to become bigger than you ever were. This was a European match tonight, but, but what's been your early in impressions of, of Scottish football? You seem personally to have adjusted very well. Yeah, because, OK, uh, I'm a football freak, so I, I watch a lot of football. <laughs> So I know some gentlemen already a uh, <laughs> long time from before. Um, yeah, I, I knew the league. I, I watched all the games of Rangers before I came. I've been watching a lot of games now. What is also an uh, important part of my job to, to know each opponent, also the circumstances where you're going to play. I know uh, on Sunday it's, it's totally different uh, on this synthetic pitch, so we need to adapt again to that. All these details are important. They certainly are. Well, congratulations well on the result and the performance tonight, Philippe, and we appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you very well much. Well nice to meet you all. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Well yeah. done again. Nice. Thank you, Philippe. Yeah.